What's going on, everybody? Tazzy Cookie coming back from the commentary this week. Just wondering how everyone's week is going. Mine's going pretty hectic. We finally just got moved in to our apartment and unpacked everything last night. And the Eastlink, well, the internet guy for you Americans, um, is coming here today and also giving me digital cable, so I cannot wait. Um, actually, he's supposed to be here within the hour. Uh, so I figured I'd get a commentary out of the way with, and hopefully I'll have this up by today. So if you're watching it today, that means he did his job correctly, and, you know, I have internet and digital cable. So we're playing some hardcore domination, just to let you guys know. Um, I'm going to give you guys some tri tips, tricks, and other shit on how to score uh, a good high ratio on uh, hardcore domination. What you want to focus on is one objective okay there's three flags you can cap you can cap a b or c but what i like to do is i like to focus on all my attention on one particular flag for for any given time first let's for example let's say three or four minutes first off in the map because the reason why i do this is because a lot of the other teammates will actually focus on capping really quickly um so if you want to just stay around c or b or a and just kind of guard it until you know you end up dying. Um, you're going to give your teammates a very, very good advantage on capping the other two uh, flags. As you can see, we have two flags captured, and one's not capped because that's the the hottest mat, uh, hottest flag in the map, rather. Um, so what I'm doing is, while the other team is trying to come to a different flag that they think that they can get without uh, you know too much hassle, I'm actually being that guy that they're going to love to hate. Um, so yeah, just keep going back and forth. You have good vantage points here. You have C and A. You can keep an eye on C, and then you can go over to the staircase to the left over there and kind of look right down by uh, by B. So as you can probably notice, they, event they eventually did get C. So uh, what I did was I started playing the defensive mode. We have two cap flags captured, B, which is right behind me, and C above there on the staircase. So what they're going to try to do is they're going to get a little cocky and try to get another flag, which is, you know, what you're supposed to do in the game. You're supposed to capture all, all the flags, and that's how you win. But just play defensive. You know, st you know stay on top of your flag um, and make sure that you kill the enemies when they try to go cap it. So we're kind of in Shit's Creek here. We have two flags that have been captured, C and A. So what I do is I set up shop over here. Um, by by B in a, f in a few minutes after this guy who's in the corner camping who's in the corner camping kills me which is alright but anyways so what I do is I throw a bouncing Betty after I kill this guy coming off to try to get B and those bouncing Bettys are gonna be your you know your partner in crime pick up a nice little triple here and I just kinda sit sit tight because I'm, I, I know that they're gonna try to come and get this B flag because they're spawning from the sea because they've captured the fleet the sea <laughs> they captured the fleet you imagine um, so what I'm doing is I'm using my marksman pro to my advantage here I mean I'm just picking off guys as they come off their spawn almost that little window up there I can even see them from this distance so it's 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 a must perk and domination in my opinion I, I love it it's one of my favorite perks within the game so I know that they finally figured out where I'm at coming from so what I did was I moved my uh, you know I'm trying to flank them now get, and come from a different angle uh, because they're, they're going to know I'm behind that little box. And I just could have got that kill, but I didn't switch my weapons and I didn't know I had a reload. But pick off this guy and I go back towards B to see if uh, I can pick up any stragglers. And then my teammate eventually just, just walks right in front of me. Yep. So fucks up my whole entire kill streak, but good thing I'm, I'm running specialist because I would have been pissed if that had been an AC-130 or something like that. So I go back to see if he's actually still camping there, and I pick him off, and then I thought his friend was going to come around the corner as well, but he eventually did, and um, threw a flashbang at me and tried to do a jump shot with a shotgun, and miserably failed, and then Zerk's helicopter just pwned him. Throw those bouncing Bettys in areas that you know that the enemy is going to come frequently. Um, stay away from your teammates, okay? Like, this is a perfect example. This guy is shooting below. He's not doing anything really, you know, that's helping our team whatsoever. And I just kind of get cluster fucked and, and run right towards the enemy. So stay away from your teammates. Because um, they can be your best friends, but they can also be one of the main reasons why you die. Um, so we're the only flag we have in cast right now is A. Um, and I threw a bouncing Betty on B because sometimes people just love... Check this out. Ooh, I believe I can fly. 
Yeah, fail. But a lot of people just run right towards the objective without even checking their corners or claymores or bouncing betties. So try to throw those on the flags every now and again. Just to let you guys know, I, I went 40 and 14 here. Z uh, Zerk went like 60 and 11. We both just went off on this map. Um, I edited it up a little bit just because there was a uh, three minute span that I actually died like, I don't know, 11 times in a row. And it just was boring and it was bad luck. Literally, like I spawned twice and a grenade was at my feet so I didn't even bother putting it in. Um, so we're losing C right now so I figured I'm going to try to make a push towards C because I just want to get this game over with. Get a guy up to spawn, reload right quickly, come around the corner and kind of, you know, show them that we're capturing C just to kind of bring them out. That's another thing, it's a little trick I like to do is hover over the flag and make it sound like they're losing their their, object, their objective. And as you can see, I'll get shot in the back here. But that's because I'm playing stupid and looking at a flag that we've already capped. But uh, that example worked. I was just showing, um, I hovered over C for a second to make it sound like they're losing it. And that usually gets the enemies all to come towards that flag. So if you want to get a, you know, a whole bunch of kills, Make it seem like the flag is going to be taken and then kind of like hesitate, go around the corner and just kind of keep an eye on that flag that you're capturing. But I started understanding that the uh, the game was about to, you know, wrap up here. So I figured I would make a push for C. So um, well, while still checking my corners, I'm going to try to attack C because we did just lose A. So uh, I think I get a guy coming over to try to cap. And, and um, I take 2 or 3 out. It was a good little run here. Um, and then I got caught reloading and didn't see that guy coming off his spawn. But, uh, so yeah, three things to keep in mind when playing Domination. One is focus on one flag, protect it for, you know, three or four minutes. Two is don't get dis distracted by other teammates. And three is always keep moving. So I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary this week. Uh, for tips, tricks, and other shit, until next week, Tazzy Cookie signing out. <laughs> <laughs>